down to three and four is where it looks like Tony's really struggling. And now the last car in the lead lap, another of the BK cars having a strong day, David Reagan. <laughs> and a lot, of, a lot of credit to that team and to Michael Walter Racing. These cars came out of that stable, yep. and that, that has really picked up their performance this year. I talked to Ron about it. He said they're learning the cars. He said they're totally different than what we had, and we're really learning. We're going to the wind tunnel now. We're getting, a little, getting some testing time. They're really getting uh, their hands around the whole program. I think so, they learned what they had was not good enough. No, they, they, no, they, knew, they knew that. And I and credit to Michael. He went over there and helped them a lot. And uh, they've really turned their program around. Watch for a battle between Eric Almarola and David Reagan here. If Reagan can get to Almarola as they so fight to stay on the lead lap. Have cars. Michael Walter cars? I did not know that. All three of them here. battling to stay on the lead lap. And you know, if you're a lap car, that's what you want to see. You want to get three wide and block all options for that leader. <laughs> there you so go. Get anything to hold it back. <laughs> Now, that's not going to be for, for uh, Kyle Busch because uh, seeing the double wide in front of the leader allows him to close right up to his teammate for a second. And Mike, not very far behind him is the 11 car. He's catching both of them as well. So those first three Gibbs cars, Toyotas, are looking pretty racy today. Now, behind Denny Hamlin, first Chevrolet in the race is the number four, a pole sitter. Kevin Harvick in fourth. Vince? Well, Harvick is much better this run than he ended up being at the tail end of that uh, initial run before the pit stop. He was on the splitter pretty hard at the beginning of this Turned run. He said, but once the pressures have come up, the car has gotten much better and has stayed better throughout the course of the run compared to the previous run. So, good news for Harvick. Still starting to move forward a little bit. Thanks, Vince. 156 laps, all of them are under green. The leaders pitted be and caution Caution flag. Ends my question to Larry of when will the next pit stop come? How about now? Oh, right now. Four tires fill her up with fuel. Gosh. Yeah, four tires to kill, Larry. <laughs> Someone near the Smithfield sign on the back straightaway, there's a piece of debris. Oh, is it bacon? <laughs> so I, if I had to guess, he's our free pass car. We'll verify that with scoring. Depends on the moment of caution. It is David Reagan. First yellow all day long at 157 laps. I think Michael may say that's a great job of David Reagan to stay in that position and be able to get that lap back. Nice job. The road's open this time. Carl Edwards will lead them down. Longest green flag run to start the race since 1979. Jamie. And Carl Edwards said that wedge adjustment last stop hurt him just a bit. Through the center, mostly, but the drive off was better. Air pressure adjustment, a four time stop for the 19. Danny Hamlin in, you can see the wrench in the back window. They're going to make a chassis adjustment. His car just needed to turn better earlier in the run through the center. Meanwhile, his teammate. Bush on the bottom of your screen. The cars loose in, loose off, but he felt like they were making some gains. Chassis adjustment again on the 18, Vince. We just told you the four car lasted a lot better on that run. They're still going to take a quarter round it's out of the right rear. Four tires for Kevin Hart. Kyle Bush wins the events off first race off pit road, second to first. And Denny Hamlin came out third, but had a little drama. On his stop right there. Oh. Italy. Uncontrolled tire. 